हेलो फ्रेंड्स प्लीज हिट दी सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस दी बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफाइड फॉर न्यू वीडियोस हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अपलोडिंग प्रोग्रामिंग वीडियोस ऑन एवरी वीकेंड सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल देन प्लीज हिट दी सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट दी बेल आइकन टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ वी कैन डेवलप अ कैलकुलेटर इन जावा स्विंग दिस इज दी कैलकुलेटर विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन एंड इम्प्लीमेंट दी लॉजिक्स ऑफ अ कैलकुलेटर इन दिस पार्ट we will get to know how we can design a calculator and collect all the elements of a calculator so let's start so as you can see here i have some basic calculations like percentage square root and plus minus multiply divide so we will have these kind of calculations so friends at the end we will have this kind of calculator where we can do our basic calculations like if we are going to add 2 plus 3 equals to is 5 and if we going to minus something from 5 like 8 and equals to is minus 3 so to make that we need some controls like these buttons and this is our tax box and the thing which in the green this is a label so now we are going to create this design so i am going to minimize it now i am going to file new project then here we need to select java and in this second part we need to click on java application hit next i am naming it as calculator and hit finish so now here we have a class by the name calculator now i am going to just delete it and now i am going to have a form which is j frame form so i am going to click it and i am naming it as calculator and it will be in the package calculator and hit finish so this is our form here we need to add controls buttons and tax box and the other one is label so first of all i am going to add buttons so for that we will have this panel here which is palette so here i'll select swing controls so i am going to drag and drop it now let's see what we have in first row we have percentage square root so i am going to name it as percentage so here we have some tabs properties binding events and code so in properties tab we have text attribute and we are going to name it as percentage now i am going to set the background as white like this i am going to resize it like this so let's run this first let's see how it is looking so like this it well where we have here now we need to change the fonts only so i am closing it now we have the font so i am going to pick 24 and bold so, and hit okay let's run this is it looking good yeah so far it is looking good so now here in this box you need to just rename it so how you can rename it by just clicking on customize the code and rename so i am naming it as percentage button and hit enter so the variable is renamed like here so click on okay now i am just going to copy this and pasting it like this and now again i am renaming it by customizing the code and rename by i am giving it as square sqrt 
button and hit enter so now to the square button i need to change the text so i am giving it sqrt square root so again i need to resize it so like this we will have now so i am dropping it here again copy paste and then we will have the x2 then 1 by x so i am giving it as x2 then again i am pasting the button then we will have 1 by x so let's rearrange them like this now let's copy this row and paste and drag it down like this here now we will have cec this is the back button and the divide so i am going to rename it as ce then it will be c so in depth then it will be back button and it will be the divide so we got all the buttons now i need a text box so i'm dropping it here and let's just expand it like this and the text alignment would be right and i'm going to change the font also so font will be black sorry this is the background so here we have the font so it will be bold and let's say it will be 24 so like this and I am just removing the text from here now we need a border so for border let me just see where it is other properties and we have the border here now i will select this each border and hit ok now let's run this okay so sorry so uh, this is maximized so we will work on it and this is right now editable so we need to just remove editable option so let me check where it is a table where it is this size okay so i need to select first the text box now we should have a table yes here so i have unchecked this now i need a label also so that label i am dropping it here and again i'll increase the width and height and text alignment again would be right and changing the font so it also will be bold and 18 and I am changing the color of it so it would be green this one click on ok and I am removing the text also from label so here it is so like this so and okay so our form is we are able to maximize it so let's just uncheck that also so where it is enable focus let me check uh, 
so here we have the resizable we need to uncheck this now let's run this the maximize icon is disabled now so let's just remove the extra spaces so like this so like this we will have our calculator so now our calculator design is ready from here you can just rename all the variables like here properties and select code and here you need to just rename it so first you need to just check this is the one by x button so again properties and just go and type name one by x button and hit close so it is renamed so again this is the x2 button so again go to properties code and give it x2 button so like this you can rename all the variables of the buttons or text boxes so we just need to now put the events on all the buttons so this is our calculators design in next video we will have the coding part where we will implement all the logics of a calculator minus add multiply taking square root taking percentage and etc so friends i hope you like this video if yes please hit the like button and please share this video with your friends thank you for watching jai hind